Yeah, today we have to vanish our alternator. So since we don't have a vanishing pot, probably this bucket could have served us to be a vanishing pot, but our vanish not that sufficient. So we do it by pouring. And by pouring, we have our vanish here. Vanish, you have the electrical insulation vanish. So it's a particular type of insulation. Look what that we pour. We increase the insulation of these electrical magnetic wires. And we also hear the micro wounds. When we talk of micro wounds here, we talk of tiny wounds that actually your eyes, you cannot see the wounds with your naked eyes. During transportation from market to the work to the shop from our rewinding machine here and do really fitting them into the slot. We then pack with them so they incur some small, small tiny wounds. So with the use of this insulation vanish, we heal those wounds, we increase the insulation of the magnet wires and we also help to bind them together to increase their lifespan. So today you see another method of vanishing which is by pouring so you make sure you saturate the whole windings with varnish saturating them you wash them with varnish you pour the insulation varnish all over the winding allowing them the varnish to penetrate even into the slot so just like that. Make sure it's well saturated. You watch this part. They vanish. I use my bare hands to lift up the step. We take the other side. Now, in the same manner, you make sure you watch the weather. You pour the varnish on the windings. So, I try to make sure you watch. They are well soaked with varnish, allow the varnish to penetrate into the slot. Okay, that's good. So at this juncture, when you look carefully, you will see. We have watched the, watched the whole system with the insulation varnish and with the use of this wire, it will help us to keep it hanging. Now for the excess varnish to run down, they can recollect it for a future use. the varnish is dripping there's other, another method of varnishing that's by pouring and now the dripping varnish you can recycle it see the container is very pure and, and clean Now you keep the stator, now to the stator hanging. When now, after coagulation, we talk of coagulation means when it gets clothed. You know, the varnish initially comes in a liquid form. So when it gets clothed, you use something like a, a, a smooth blade. Gently you scrape off the excess varnish on this stator core to make sure the air gap is very free, smooth, and clean. 
the air gap is a gap between the stator core and the rotor and this gap is approximately 0 0.4 to 5.5 or 6 millimeters so it is very small it's very slim that's the gap between the stator core and the rotor we talk of the stator core we talk about this gap all around so that's a hollow part in between the stator and the rotor so on a long run we will slot in the rotor we we'll manage to picture you out that air gap which is very small so along the excess varnish on the stator core the excess varnish will occupy that air gap which is just approximately 0 0.4 to 5.5 millimeters so if you fit in your rotor you have some frictions now to reduce that friction to zero you make sure you clean off that excess varnish on your stator core but there is another way of which after my research in electrical rewinding and maintenance i have come to, to realize that it should be the best method to, to be used of which i will introduce to other lended colleagues carrying out the same the same career after my research so in this thing i've stored some spirit for it not to dry out so you need your rack you suck a, a, a smooth piece of cloth into thinner or you call it durian you carefully you squeeze it out gently clean off your cord the cord of your stator with that piece of cloth so you are wiping off that excess varnish being deposited on that stator cord Twist out this one so carefully wipe it upward. Mm -hmm. We wipe off this the excess varnish on your stator core. So allow it now gradually to get dry. And the type of varnish we have used, this is the air dry varnish. We have in our shop, our oven is bad, which is under maintenance. So, but we need to keep up doing our jobs day to day. We have applied the air dry, the gold color air dry varnish. So this one dry gradually, just with air. You don't need air to dry it up. So maybe within Throughout five hours, you can put it under an airy atmosphere. So tomorrow, same time, we'll do the mounting and we'll take it back to the end user. So we'll be able to use our three phase at the seven point eight kVA generator. Thank you. Don't forget. As you can see, it is a job well done, probably. Now, from the test, that's where you conclude. But please, don't forget to click the notification button. And you follow us on our YouTube channel for more videos. You can follow us, you can call our WhatsApp numbers for more details. You call for your jobs. You work 24 on 24. Shalom.